Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Kasturis and today we will go over all the steps you can take to fix the 502 bad gateway connection error. So let's get to it. The 502 error is quite common and can be super frustrating. Before we jump into all the steps we can take to solve that, let's see how it pops up in the first place. Well, that can be split into two main categories. Server-side issues, that refers to your hosting provider, and client-side issues, that refers to your device that you are using. And this ties in perfectly with the first step we need to take. The first step in getting the 502 error sorted out is determining which category it falls into. You can do that with websites such as Host Tracker and Website Planet. If using these pages you determine that the issue is indeed just on your side, let's focus on the steps you can try and take to resolve that. If the issue is indeed on the server side, check out the video description for timestamps for applicable solutions. There are cases where the simplest solution works best. Restarting your phone, PC, or even your router can resolve a ton of different errors. So to completely power cycle your device, just shut it off, leave it for a couple of minutes, and turn it back on. I really hope this was all it takes to resolve the 502 error for you. If not, let's continue to the other step. It might be the case that your browser has cached some outdated or even corrupted files that caused the 502 error to appear. This is how you can clear your cache in Google Chrome. While the process is similar on other browsers, you can find detailed instructions on how you can do this on your browser in the description below. Using incognito mode is a great idea to check if the issue was perhaps caused by some browser extension. Here's how you can do that on Google Chrome. If the error was indeed fixed by opening the website in incognito mode, this means that the issue might have been caused by a browser plugin. In that case, try disabling your browser plugins one by one until you find the one that's faulty. Most often, this error is caused by ad blocking plugins. Another good idea is try out another browser, either Mozilla Firefox or Opera. If this does help, try reinstalling your original one, as it might be corrupted or misconfigured. Sometimes the 502 error can be caused by a DNS issue. In that case, a good idea is to try and flush your DNS cache. No worries, the process is not at all complicated, and to find the exact steps you need to take on your device, check out the description below. Another great idea is trying out third-party DNS servers. One such server is provided by Google DNS. So, to see how you can make the switch, check out that description. If you experience the 502 error after a certain change or an update on your website's hosting end, a good idea is to enable error logging, as that might have further insights in how you can solve this issue. To enable error logging and display on your HPanel plan, simply open the PHP configuration tab and make sure you have two boxes checked. You can also enable error logging on your WordPress website by adding these lines of code in your wp-config file. All the generated errors will appear in the debug.log file, which you can find in the wp-contents directory. There are cases where the 502 bad gateway error is caused by poorly coded plugins or themes. Most often times, caching and security plugins cause this. A good way to check if that is the case is by disabling all of your plugins and switching your theme. Then you can see if your website is brought back up online. To do so, go to your WordPress website plugin section and select the Activate in the Bulk Actions menu. If the issue was resolved, simply reactivate your plugins one by one while refreshing the page until you find the faulty plugin. If, however, you are unable to access your WordPress admin area, you can also disable your plugins using the File Manager or an FTP client. To do so, navigate to the wp-content folder and change its name to something else. I will be setting it to Plugins-Disabled. If this helps the website to get back up and running, you can then rename the plugins folder back to what it was named originally and disable plugins one by one simply by renaming individual plugin files. Another cause for your 502 bad gateway error can be your CDN or your DDoS mitigation services. One such example would be using Cloudflare. There are two main variations of the 502 error you can be seeing when using Cloudflare. If this is what you see, then the error is originating from Cloudflare's side. I would recommend checking the Cloudflare status page, link to which you can find in the description below, as well as contacting Cloudflare's customer support. Alternatively, you can simply disable your Cloudflare services. Do note that that will trigger a DNS propagation process, which can take a few hours to be completed. Although you see this version of the error, that means that the issue lies on your web host provider's end. In that case, contacting their customer support would be the way to go. 
If the 502 error appeared during migration, it might very well be the case that these PHP limits were hit. This is another case where you would need to contact your web host provider and check if these limits can be increased. The 502 bad gateway error can definitely be super frustrating to fix. I really hope that the tips and tricks in this video helped you do just that. And of course, if you liked the video, let me know by clicking the like button. Stay subscribed to the Hostinger Academy channel for more amazing tutorials like this one in the future. If there are any other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your internet journey. Take care.